All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the hockey slate for this evening. Um, just a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it back in time for, for Locke and update the projections and things like that I'm going out this afternoon, and I'm just not exactly sure when I'm going to be back. Um, so if I'm not, uh, you know, just do the best you can. And if I, if I am going to be back for it, I will let everybody know. Uh, so we're going to do this the same way that we've been doing these hockeys. And I, I really do like these four game slates. They're nice and compact, but yet you can still get different. And what we're going to do again is we're going to start with my sheets up here on the right. And then we're going to try to build kind of a lineup using that. And then the fun part is going to be inputting the projections into Saberson and seeing what kind of lineup builds we get using that. Um, and sometimes they're similar, sometimes they're totally different, but at least gives you an idea of what, you know, what to expect. Um, first thing I notice is that you have a new goalie, right? So, so I'm looking at Swayman is projecting to be goalie for Boston today, and he's really cheap. Um, he's showing up at a really, really really good projection here um he looks like he's gonna be pretty highly owned as a result as well but that's uh certainly nothing to, to sneeze at as is by the way the the goalie for carolina um this is both coming from the same game which is um which uh is interesting right because these of the carolina game has been the one with the big totals and it's been the one that's been garnering ownership and now all of a sudden to have boston and carolina just show up as the top goalies is kind of hard to look at but remember is that that it's not just about limiting goals to get a good goalie score. You also have to be able to, you know, to face a bunch of shots. Um, so that's the first thing I'm noticing. Secondly, is that, as I mentioned, I don't know what, what happened to, to the Carolina projections, but it looks as though they're kind of uh, falling off the face of the earth a little bit here. Right. What happened to all this Carolina chalk that we were used to seeing? Uh, looks like they've just, um, just it's not showing up today, um, which is kind of interesting the way these series pro progress, uh, these series is, these series progress. What I'm looking at here is, is Tampa, um, Tampa and Edmonton and to some degree, Boston, that, that really looks to be the three teams to attack. It looks like Carolina is not really what you want to do here. Um, um, Tampa, we got Kalarn, we got Kucherov, and Stamkos over here. That's not bad. But then the Boston, you have Marshan, Pasternak, and, and Bergeron. I guess, boy, it's crazy. Just because it's coming to Boston, I guess, they're, they're, they're really just flipping these, these numbers on their heads here. And they really... Boston is really showing up as a strong, strong play. Um, so let's let's not fight it. Let's put it in here. Let's put in the Boston goalie. And let's go with a full correlation. Let's see what we can come up with here. We'll put in Marshan. We'll put in. Well, I have to show you what I'm doing, actually. So we're over here, right? And I still can't figure out how to do it with both parts of the screen. But we'll put in Taylor Hall. We'll put in um, Bergeron, Pasternak, Marchand, Hall. So Bergeron, Pasternak, Bergeron, Pasternak. Okay. Bergeron, Pasternak. Is it four of them? Yeah. So we got four skaters and a goalie. And that leaves 4,300 a man. And again, you could definitely do this. I mean, you're going to have to punt a little bit. But, but you know, you get a good score out of these Boston guys, you're going to be happy about it. Um, let's take a look at some of these one-offs here. Let's see what they look like. You get this Kalorn to thirty two hundred is going to make this make this run, and you could play the the, the one off the of Trocheck also. Um, so you can really you know you could build a lineup really really easily tonight and use Boston, and maybe that's what I, I might do. Um, so let's put in Kalorny over here. 
Kalorn, sorry. And then what did I say? You can put in the Trocek. And now you can even play, you can even play good defense. Um, so yeah, I mean, this, this looks pretty, pretty straightforward to me. Um, play Boston. You could use these one-offs and then you could just, you know, sort my projections by a good defenseman and just kind of play that way. That's certainly something you could do using the tools available to you. Um, you want to build another one? I mean, with, with a different stack, I mean, may as well. Um, and then we're going to do Saber Sim and see what they come up with. Uh, even the Edmontons don't look that great. So I'm not even going to do that. I mean, you could do it, but why? But why? I mean, are they gonna be, is Edmonton really going to be that much lower owned? I guess maybe. I guess maybe that's the idea. So you could do that if you want. So, so, so it's the same thing. You play Smith, Nugent Hopkins, McDavid, Hyman, and then make sure you get some correlative, you know, other guys on your lines. Um, and you can still play those same one-offs. You can still play Killarney. You can still play, um, what's his name? Play Brandon Saad. That's a decent one-off. Trocek. So I think between Edmonton and Boston, those are the two stacks that, you know, if you just use my projections and just kind of eyeball it, you could build these things pretty easily and, and have probably a pretty good lineup. Um, just to kind of compare, let's let's build with Saberson and see how they did how it differs. And I, I always I always wonder how common how, how much they're gonna look the same or how much they're gonna look different. I don't know, I, I, I download and then to upload. Sorry. So we're gonna upload it. You can get you can do this on the on the website also on 3DFS, but I, I still just do it on my own. All right, so let's uh, build lineups here and let's just see. If we built say let's build fifty. If we built fifty lineups, if we would get something similar, if we would get these Boston's or. If, if, if Saber Sim would be in kind of that mood where it gives me all the Toronto <laughs> or all the St. Louis or all the Minnesota because they're going to be lower on. Um, just remember, you just don't necessarily want the lower owned. You want the lower owned if they, you know, if their chances of getting there is good enough, given the fact they're going to be lower on. You know what one of these is? Oh, you can't see this. It's so funny. Because of the background, that you can't see if I'm holding anything, right? I mean, I'm literally holding this right next to me, but because of the way the background works, you can't even see that. So yeah, as 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 mentioned, uh, looks like we're getting a bunch of Tampa. Let's take a look. Uh, teams, no, it's giving me mostly Edmonton. So Edmonton and Boston, but you'll note that it's given me just about the same amount of St. Louis and Toronto. So I, I would go with that. In other words, if, if Saberson takes into account the ownership and suggests St. Louis as a good ownership, uh, you know, driven stack, I would go with it. So I look, there's, as, as I talked about this in basketball, you know, that there's some slates that I think are good Saberson slates. There's some slates I think are good hand-built slates. I think this could be a good Saberson slate. Um, because it's going to get you to things that you might not otherwise have gotten to if you're a hand builder. Um, I, I hope that makes sense. Um, so again, disclaimer, I don't know if I'm going to be able to update these as we get closer to lock. If not, just go with what you have here or, you know, do a little research and come up with your own, but, um, that'll do it. Uh, watch it over this weekend. A lot of stuff going on Kentucky. Derby, actually, it's a two-day thing, you know, so the Oaks are going all day today, um, the main races later. Check out the video that I did with Michael Baychock on both slates. Um, that was an incredible video, um, reliving some old New Orleans horse racing stories and things like that. He's a super-duper expert as well. And um, tomorrow's Derby Day, MMA, NASCAR, all kinds of stuff. 
And uh, just, uh, again, if I can make it back for the late, uh, late projections before lock, I will. Otherwise, um, uh, have a good evening. Good luck.